Bullying has evolved into a dire widespread issue in our society and has established itself as a social ill that's destroying countless lives in that it affects not only the victims but the families of those victims. It caught this mother by surprise. Without any knowledge whatsoever about bullying, she mistakenly took her son's behavioral change to be one of pre-adolescent. But the single mother soon figured out she was wrong when her eight-year-old son tried to end his own life. Try Vinika in the garage. She just opened the back door and he said, Mommy, I'm going to run in front of the truck. And I just, I said, What? What are you saying? What are you saying? And when I come out now, I try to catch him. He done run out in the highway already. Pass the bridge, run out in the highway. I could just grab him on his hand. When he moved on to Standard One, this, there were some boys from infants to beat him up, take his money, and take away his lunch, whatever he have and whatnot. So, um, when he gone upstairs now, there were bigger boys, they started to beat him. Beat him right through, they cuff out, uh, cuff him, knock out one of his teeth from his mouth. Um, they, he, they will push him down, but they will beat him and, you know, try, the boys will try to let him kiss his private. Many parents ignore the signs of bullying and catch on when it's too late. The mother revealed that her eight-year-old child had been a victim of sexual assault, bullying, and being wrongfully accused by both its peers and teacher. It is an ugly feature of school life that needs urgent attention. Still, I realize that killing yourself is not going to solve the problem. You know, I, I don't know what to do. I've been trying right through to get them counsel for the whole week since um, Wednesday and up to now. It's a problem all the parents we spoke with encountered. A high absenteeism rate of counselors and guidance officers in primary and secondary schools. And Sayana Mahabir Wyatt points out why. Counselors that were assigned to most of the schools in Trinidad and Tobago, their contracts haven't been removed, re renewed. Children unable to seek help by the same institution that has a statutory duty to protect them from harm. Unfortunately, in many instances, we're told, school officials deal with incidents of bullying much too late. And by the time intervention occurs, the psychological damage and pain has become almost indelible. This is a violent society and, and we are not doing enough to put in place programs in schools like peer counseling, like anti-bullying um, programs, which some schools do have, but not all schools have. Today, bullying has gotten worse with the advancement of technology. Some believe violent acts of bullying have become a form of entertainment. President of the National Parent Teachers Association, Zina Ramatali, said a child is cyberbullied by other students every other day. She said cyberbullying must be dealt with on all fronts as it can leave long-lasting scars on a child's psyche and lead to suicide. But one parent we spoke with believes bullying is morphing into serious offences. Bullying starts out as a game. It's a simple game of a child running and hitting another one. That's how it starts. And it reaches to the point where from a game it becomes physical. Right? And one child doesn't know when to stop. We need a more sensible approach to engaging children where this issue of bullying is concerned. And we can't just make it punishment because that's just rewarding the same bad behavior. The real tragedy lies in the fact that each death marks another life unlived, another dream unrealized. Nisha John Mohammed, TV6 News.